good morning and welcome to today's Facebook Live. My name's Jenny McCormack and I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator and I'm based in the market town of Brackley which is in Northamptonshire in the UK. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you're joining live and you have any questions or queries or just want to say hi then please do that um, just add a comment and I know that you're watching this Facebook live gets uploaded to YouTube after the live today so if you're watching on replay or if you're watching on catch up via YouTube and you can and you have any questions or comments then you can add a comment onto that video and I monitor those on a regular basis and if you have any queries I can get back to you. So yesterday evening we created this card here using a brand new collection of products that was released literally yesterday. I'm not normally quite as off the off the mark but I wanted to do something different having given you a week of windmills last week so we're carrying on with that um so the product range is called all together and it's available between now and the 2nd of may good evening to you kerry in the in australia and the collection consists of a stamp set papers dies and a collection of natural tones blends pens so the blends pens will be going into the annual catalogue hi Joan thanks for joining us again and you will see those in the catalogue in May but they are available in the meantime the other products which is the papers the stamps and the dies are available while stocks last up and until the 2nd of May. Hi Bamsi, good morning to you. So I did show you the items yesterday. Um, I've got just three sets of the blends pens. I'm going to put the next set on my next order. And these are natural tones that can be used for skin, they can be used for animal fur, they can be used for hair, um, all sorts of things. And instead of having names, they just have numbers. So the ones that I've got are 500 through to 1,000. And strangely enough, the 1,000 is the lightest one and the 500 is the darkest one. Oh, no. Uh, no, I haven't, Sue. Sorry. That's on my to-do list for today. I do apologise. Thank you for the reminder, Sue. Um, so these were the blends pens and I used these yesterday to create this card here. The suite has um, a set of dies that cut out the stamp. So let me just bring the stamps in here. So the dies cut out um, these two, two hands here with the little finger and the little heart hands and the heart. And they also have two sentiments one is you matter and one is here for you let me find if i got the you matter somewhere i cut it out yesterday so it says you matter appreciate you can't really see that here it is i knew it was here somewhere there we go so we've got two dies that say you matter and here for you and I think you could do a fair bit with these, cutting these up into individual letters um, and making other expressions and sayings. So you could get mum, so you've got an M, a U and an M, so you could do that. So you could literally cut these up and get different um, letters. And the other component in the set is this pack of 48 papers. Morning, Carol. I hope you're feeling okay. Poor Carol's got COVID. So sorry to hear that. So we have these lovely black and white papers, as you can see. And 
they have some images of the hands and they have some leaves and they have some geometric designs and they're all black and white we've got like a rainbow effect on there so that's one side and then similarly on the back so some are black with white some are white with black and that was what I used yesterday in this backing so I actually coloured in the edges of this foliage hope you can see that there just coloured it in with a little bit of crumb cake and then I die cut the here for you and then I stamped the hands and coloured them in with um, 900 and 1000 as the colours fairly light hands so I thought I'd do something slightly different today and that is use the papers and the dies. Um, the blends by the way come in packs of two um, and they're based on the set of tones so there's um, light, medium light, medium, medium dark and dark so there's five sets all together. <laughs> Bless you, Sue. No, you're actually live this time. Okay, so I've got a couple of ideas that I want to try today. So this is my first one. And this has got the um, papers with the little hearts. So I'm thinking of colouring in a few of those hearts. So I end up with red, white and black. And then what I might do is cut this down so I've just got for you. So effectively it makes like a Valentine's card. So that's my um, thought. And in the set there is a heart stamp and a heart die. So I was thinking what I could do is put and then a little heart for you. So we'll see. Um, and then the other one I'm going to use if we have time is this sheet here. And I'm going to do some extra stripes to change the look of it completely. So let me grab a sheet of grid paper to work on. So I hope everybody is well today. Let's grab that. And I'm just going to put this underneath. And I'm just going to colour in some of the hearts. Now I don't need to do the whole sheet because... I'm only going to have part of the sheet so let's cut this up to start with so I'm not wasting time colouring bits that I don't need. Um, I'm thinking I might put a black layer behind it so let's make this my normal measurement of nine and a half centimetres by 13.85 so and this is poppy parade and i've got my poppy parade blend pens you could also use a stamp and write marker such a small area to cover i'm literally going to color in just some of the hearts not all of them otherwise we'll be here all day <laughs> So, let's get going and start with a sip of coffee. Okay, glasses are off so I can see what I'm doing close up and I'm just using the fine point. And the blend pens with these colours um, have the same thing, a, light, um, a fine point and a wide brush. So... Just literally, sort of in every set, going to um, colour in. Now, I don't know why I cut it that way. But never mind. Okay, so I'm just going to do some of these, hopefully. That's in there okay. Now my phone has 
has stopped moving, so I hope they're still live. So I do like black and white designer paper because you can really change the look of it. And obviously it goes with lots of things. And black and white is useful for mail cards as well. Right, let's see if we are in fact still live. She said, hoping. Okay. So you can obviously add more of these hearts after you've put the main bit of the card together. Tracy oh good I'm back again <laughs> although my phone seems to keep freezing so hey ho okay so I thought this would make a nice um, Valentine's card as that's approaching obviously in February you could also make it to a wedding card or an anniversary of those I'm not going to I could probably add some more after we've finished because it's not particularly exciting for you to watch me just colouring in little hearts is it okay I think that will do. Okay, I can always add a few extra bits and pieces on later. So I've got here for you, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, cut round here because I just want for you on here so let me grab some small snips and do that now what I could actually do is pop this onto a die cut or something so it stands out a little bit better So all I'm going to do is bring my snips in and just round that little bit off. So we've now got for you, like so. So I feel it's, it's a little bit lost on those hearts. So let me see if I've got a ready-made die cut that I could use to put underneath this. Oh, i tell you what might work. Would be a heart punch. Let me have a look for both. It's just a, a scrap of black, actually. if I've got anything else so these are my ready-made die cuts from assorted classes and things yes I'm thinking the hearts might do nicely too Babsy. so we have a set of two heart punches I just need to find them. 
because I've seen them in a strange place. Do you know that feeling? Like I've had them for something else. Um, right, let's be systematical about this. What have I got here? Okay, so I've got this heart punch here, which has a scallop, scalloped edge. So it's slightly small, but it might do the job. Just want to raise it up from there. Hi, Lynn. Good morning to you. Right. So, shall I punch another piece of red? Let's have a look. sort of works doesn't it let me just see for you now in my mind this um elaborate r is um looks more like an n so i'm just wondering if i trim this piece here Oh, oh, thanks for Joan for reminding Judith. Bless you, ladies. So I think what I'm going to do is trim this here um, to make an R. So I'm just going to cut this along here. I mean, it is an R, but I just feel that it's an old-fashioned R and it doesn't... I think it's not really clear that it's an it's an R. There we go. For you. Matt's made that a little bit short, but let's see. So the question is, I'm gonna pop this onto a black layer and then onto my poppy card. Oh, bless you. <laughs> um, so I'm going to put a black layer behind, I think. So the question is, am I going to go for hearts? Now this is a bit smaller. It might look a little bit better. Or just one heart. Right, what I'm going to do is grab a black layer for behind. And then see what that looks like. So we're just literally playing with the papers from a new release of products. So for Joan and Judith, let's have a look here. So this is going to be 10 centimetres. Give me a little border all the way around and 14.35 yes I think you're right I think I if I had a larger heart I think it would work better um, for which set Sue? so the um, 
the dies are £30, the stamps are £21, but you can buy them both together at our 10% discount, so for £45.75. And the papers are our standard price of £10.75. Yeah, so dies are 30 stamp set 21 and papers 1075 and then if you want any of the blending pens um, then they're 825 for a pack of two and they're all available now literally released yesterday so yes I think you're right the black circle is definitely clearer so I'm going to layer those up to start with let me just scroll that and the home phone is ringing it's just been out of action for five weeks it's been very very quiet and of course now it's working all of those lovely automated sales calls are coming in don't you love them okay so this is poppy parade Red Hot Palmy the Works but oh, on the Black Heart, yes. Let's have a look and see. So that's going to be my layers. So this started off just black and white and I just coloured in some of the hearts. So And I've also got a heart that I can cut out because there's a heart to die with the set here. So I could put a little um, heart in like that so we've got that option for you or and this might have been better in landscape and there is another heart but it's slightly smaller and I can't actually see it on my desk So what do we think? Both of the hearts are all different. <laughs> yes, that's very true. Okay, let's cut. Um, if I could cut this out in a little bit of black and a bit of red and pop those up on dimensionals. So let's just get a few scraps. this just going to put these together I'm not sure if it will cut three together it'll certainly cut two let's cut one each of red and black just going to do that off camera everybody's well it's that um the second of the second 22 isn't it and we'll have another one won't we on the 22nd of february we'll have the two 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 <laughs> always good fun and there's a name for that isn't there but i can't think what it is sure somebody will know okay so just going to cut another set in case I need some while I'm here. Right, let's not lose our hearts die. have a look palindrome thank you lynn 
Okay. Right. So, of course, I could have done... Um, I don't know whether any other combination would have worked. Obviously, if I'd got a bigger heart, that would have worked. I haven't got any hearts dies. Um, but I think that will do. So, the question is... And I'm just going to pop these hearts around on dimensionals. I think I am. Because the other option was to have this on a die cut. Like so. Now I think I'm going to stick with the hearts. We'll just go all hearts. Okay, so let's layer these up. So I've got Poppy Parade card base. These are my hearts that have come through. Prefer the hearts. Thank you, Lynn. Are you not, not at your um thing, Lynn, I wonder? Okay, so that's onto the black layer. This is going to go onto the Poppy Parade layer. So what I meant to say was you can buy the whole collection um, all together. Um, with one item number for ninety seven seventy five. Oh my goodness! Oh yes, Hannah and Eve. That's perfect, isn't it? Um, so if you are thinking of getting the whole collection, you can actually get that as a um, a starter kit. Just pay £99 and you'll actually then be able to choose £130 of product. So you can have that kit plus another £32 worth, plus another two free stamp sets. So it makes it a really good deal. Okay, let's grab some dimensionals and put this together. Oh, I've got a little chunk out of that heart. So these hearts come out a little bit embossed, which is really sweet. So I'm just going to turn those over. Just a little bit. <coughs> Excuse me, too big. <coughs> And obviously you could cut these out in silver or foil, that would also look nice. But I've just gone with the red, black and white theme for this one. See what I'm going to <coughs> oh, I've got a tickle today. I'm going to do with this. Does it need two hearts? Or one heart even. Quite tempted with one actually because of this 
um, black and this red overlapping. Let me just move that maybe. I had it. Yeah, I'll just offset them very slightly. Oh, Sue says one now. Let's, um, if I did it just that way. One. Thank you. Okay, so I'm just going to add some dots of glue onto the back of here. And I'm just using our liquid glue, our Tombow multi-purpose. And if you're just gentle with it, literally just a gentle amount, you can cover it nicely without getting completely covered. Failing that, you could use some of our self-adhesive sheets. I knew I'd done that. There was missing a heart there somewhere. Let's see. Like so. And I'll pop that up on dimensionals. Just give that a really good press on the back. I know I've got a little bit of glue sticking out, but I'm not worried about that. So one, two, three, it's perfect. So if anybody else needs a current catalogue sending to them, I will pop that in the post along with the leaflet for this new, um, this new suite. And I think I'm going to go in the middle and then dot these around. So I've got Thank you, Sue. Unless, um, Babsy, you've got a spare catalogue. But if not, I can send one. That's no trouble at all. You were on my list. And... <laughs> I feel it wants to go there. There we have it, so a completely different look for that one. So I hope you like it. For you, as I say, I've just trimmed that top off. Okay, and then let us grab this one now this is going to be a completely different look again let's not lose my little heart die because what i thought i would do i've already pre-cut here for you in magenta madness and i've added our foam pads on the back so this will stand up and what i'm going to do is change this into a plaid or check tartan whatever you want to call it um, using some pink and some green pens and a ruler so I have a t-square which is really useful for this because you can keep it straight along the edge of the paper she says let's not speak too soon huh um, and I'm just going to create <coughs> a crisscross pattern thank you Sue Yes, I thought you might like tartan. And then I suddenly thought maybe that's not the right thing for um, somebody from Scotland. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do 
is just use the dark magenta madness and just going to start with some stripes <coughs> like so and I have no idea what my pattern will be but let's give it a go So I'm thinking sort of pinks and green. And I can also vary the width of the stripe using the wide brush tip. Okay. Oh, pink and lime. Oh, yes, that would be good. I'm not sure I've got a lime colour pen, but I'm sure we've got something similar. So I'm hoping, just going to do that. I've got some sort of mark on here, so let's take one this way. Don't want a dirty mark on our finished card. So just going to have a bit of fun with this really. And you could do this with stamps if you've got like the buffalo check. You can do this with that. Um, so let's see. I've got <coughs> a, a mint macaron. See if that works. Oh, thank you, Babsy. That would be that would be perfect for Sue. Thank you so much. Okay, so now I've got a broader stripe. I'm gonna go that way. And I'm gonna miss one out. Now what you should really do, and something I haven't done, is clean the edge of your um, ruler in between because I am picking up a little bit of ink. Let me just see if I've got something to hand to wipe it with. Not that it really matters, I don't think. Just grab... Oh, Granny Apple Green, yeah, that's a good idea. Great idea. Okay. We can add that in, perhaps going the other way. Um, so, miss one and do one here. So, really just have a little bit of fun with this. And you can make it any, any colours to suit you. nearly keeping that dirty mark so I can avoid it okay and let's do a granny apple green then Do a wider one, so I'm going to do two of 
and you do one close to that black line do it on the edge and then I can see if that's going to work definitely works isn't it so I'm going to miss one and do it in here and see how that goes this one And miss one. Now you could do this with Sharpies. If you've got Sharpie markers or if you've got any other pens that are coloured, you could get the same effect. Let me just bring it up so you can see it a little bit better. There we go. Uh, let's add this one in so I'm just going to move that one and add these <laughs> thank you Sue <laughs> anytime it's a Marek Tartan okay so I've got this what I want to do is bring in this so it it matches with this that's what I'm after um, so the question is do I need another color I'm almost thinking of a a blue like misty moonlight or something what do we think Uh, going that way in this alternative one here it's going to get complicated now isn't it <laughs> right let's just try this on um, on the one that hasn't got anything <laughs> that way Yeah, that works, doesn't it? So I'm just going to do that on these alternative ones. And I'm really just doing it by eye. I mean, I'm obviously using the T-square to make life easier. But um, you can just have a little bit of fun. This would be good for... Um, you know, if you've got school uniforms of certain colours and things like that. Or a thick pink line. Yeah, that's true. That would also work, Lynn. So, do we need more pink? This is the question. Uh, because I have only got one line of pink, haven't I? But then it's going to pick that up, isn't it? Let's have a look. I've got Dark Magenta Madness. What do we think? I could put... Pink layer behind, yes. Yeah, so I can put it on to um, Magenta Madness cardstock. So I could put a thick line next to the thin pink. Let me try it on an edge. I can't even see where I had that little mark now. Let me just try it on here. next to that oh that's bright isn't it <laughs> ooh quite like that 
although it's not oh it's yes it's next to that one isn't it <coughs> so i could have put it in this gap but i quite like this gap so the question is shall i put that right the way through or not because uh, i can cut this off at this point that's the good thing about that Lynn likes that stands out okay let's do it glasses are off so this is next to the green line and between that and that one so you can play with the um, light the dark and you can play with the two tips as well the brush and the fine tip oops that was a bit close Yeah, quite possibly. <laughs> quite possibly it will be too busy, but hey-ho. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. There we go. Okay. Right, let me wipe that ruler down. I mean, the alcohol does dry off that fairly quickly. Anyway. But there will be a little bit of a residue. So let's grab... Um, so I could actually go Granny Apple Green and Magenta Madness for my layers, couldn't I? Oops, falling over. Here we go. I love these two colours together. Fab is that. There we are, Tartan. There we are, Sue. That's your Tartan. Okay, so. <laughs> We've got it that way. Oh. That way. Or just one of the colours and white. They would be really bright colours for your kitchen, Sue, <laughs> wouldn't they? Single blue layer to pop the blue line. Let's have a look. So blue to pink, blue to green with pink on top. I quite like that combination. Blue on pink, says Lynn. Like that. What do we think? Oh, that's quite nice. I quite like that. And obviously I'm going to chop off these edges. This is where I started, so obviously the edges are not quite straight. So blue on pink. I realise of course it's quite a long way from you I can see it quite clearly let me bring this up like so like that is that our um, going to go for that combination okay Let's cut this piece first. And I'm just going to choose the nicest bit of this. Um, 
so obviously this is where I started because it was quite thick and then getting thinner so I'm going to cut that bit off um, so let's trim just trim the edge to start with and then work back from that there we go so this is going to be nine and a half see where that brings us just moving up a little bit because I don't want a complete white bit on the edge that's better there we go and then This will be 13.85, so I'm just looking to see where that will cut. I think that will be okay. Okay, and then you've got other bits that you can use. you everybody so it was a good collaborative project today so this is going to be my layer so I cut this to half an A4 to start with and then I'm going to cut this to 10 by 14.35 make sure that I've not done anything disastrously wrong so I've got my border around there and then this is going to be magenta madness base card Onto there, onto there, and I can decide which way round I want that to be once I've popped it on. That's pretty. So, glue on the back. Placing that on there. You wouldn't believe it was this, would you, to start with? <laughs> Looks somewhat different, doesn't it? <laughs> so, you know, do use your papers, play with your papers, cut them up. And um, they're no good sat in a, in a folder somewhere, or in a cupboard, or in a drawer. Okay, now let's have a look which way around I prefer this. much in it this is slightly um, weighted so I think I'm gonna put that there because it's weighted towards that left hand side and I don't know what made me think about that I think I was thinking of the stripes um, and the rainbows that you could colour in from the other papers. There we go. And then we've got here a few. So I've added the foam backing onto this just to raise it up rather than um, the alternative is to die cut multiple ones of these and glue them together. So I'm hoping they're all going to come out all right. Um, let's grab 
the pokey tool just here glasses off that's how I'll push it up this way that would be best okay and again you can take the here off and just have for you if you wanted to and we do have lots of other expression die cuts like you're amazing and things like that that you could swap out okay so I'm just gently teasing this away I cut it through with the foam sheet on the back so it's cut it out in one go just don't want to tear it it's going to cut a little bit there make it easier to pull apart there we go this one out it's the backing that hasn't cut through the foam bit's fine it's the plastic backing right Sorry, this is a little bit monotonous for you. Okay, we're nearly there. I should have done this before, shouldn't I? Save you watching me. that back off and then carefully taking out this middle bit You want something to push it on to that's it it's got some tiny little pieces here yes the foam sheets thank you babsy are like a complete sheet of um, uncut dimensionals and you get six sheets in a pack and you can just cut up little bits to use there we go perfect for lettering and numbering or where you want a raised die cut teasing this piece out there we go that one a tiny little one in there I'm just making sure all those little bits are out so it does make a difference but of course I've taken the backing off so just sticking to everything Bing. oh so this is the um, paper so all I did was I took a scrap of um, 
this magenta madness. I had a scrap of the foam that I stuck on the back, die cut it, and then it leaves this backing on here that you can peel away. So when you've got these other bits here, you could die cut other shapes out of the scraps that are left. Um, I think I've got everything. So I'll attach it from myself. And obviously with a check like this, you could have it either way. But I'm thinking this is going to work. touch to me and what you want to do if you can is let it relax before you put it down otherwise you can sort of stretch it out of out of shape and also it gives you the opportunity to sort of maneuver it a little bit like so there we are, here for you. So it's nice height as well. Not sure that you can see that particularly well, but it's quite um, sturdy. So there we are. So I've got some little strips left that I've put on the inside. I'm gonna trim the R. Um, what do you think? I could. Yeah. There we go. Here for you. There we are. Oh, it has been trimmed. And then I've got obviously some of this left over, so I could put some along here on the inside or across the bottom. They look quite nice. And I've got this piece here. It also work. That tiny little bit works nicely in there. Brings that all together. Or I could put it on a white um, sheet and add that bit, but I'm just going to pop this on because I can use that on something else or I've just had an idea just going to see whether that works it'd be a bit of a fluke if it did um, so let's just add this like so So, I don't tend to keep little strips like this, but I do try and use them on the project. There we go. And let me see if my idea will work. I was thinking it could go on the envelope but because I trimmed it from both edges um, there's not quite enough but what I could do is have it on the inside of the envelope like that oh mind you you'll see some of it through there <laughs> oh, that's just Sue's jeans. So, yes, if I hadn't have trimmed that little bit off, um, that would have sort of fitted across there quite nicely. But because I trimmed off the top edge and this side, it's not quite deep enough. But I could put a trim down the side of the envelope. Why not? And then we're done. So let's pick up this little piece here. I think. A 
slightly oh I, yes it's not quite long enough though unfortunately but I'm going to put that down the side instead let's choose the best bit of that Thank you, Babsy. It's always a good bit of fun, isn't it, to have a play? So I'm just going to put this, just really selecting the middle bit of that. And then I'll just trim the edges off that way. If you can, it's best to do it that way. Add it and then cut the edge off. Just so you don't get left with a shortage. There we are. Here for you. I suppose I ought to cut that. <laughs> could have cut that air R as well. Good night. Looks like heme for you now. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, so those were the colours. Um, Magenta Madness. Um... A little bit of mint macaron granny apple green that was inspired thank you sue and a little bit of misty moonlight so here we are our finished card here for you and then completely different to that our valentine's card that says for you so thank you so much everybody um, I hope you enjoyed that little bit of um, playtime. And I look forward to crafting with you tomorrow. So Thursday we'll be back here at 7pm. I hope you're able to join us. And that will be the 3rd of February. And um, thank you very much for joining me today. And thank you for your input as well. Um, and I do like Sue Marrick's new tartan. <laughs> Thank you, Sue. Do take care now. Bye, everyone. Thanks for watching. <laughs>